Okay, Chantella, what is your take on the requirement? Well, I believe it's really progressive and it's a great idea to be educating our students more on mental health. Mm -hmm. The concern I have for it is that it's kind of coming out pretty quickly. We don't know much information. We don't know when it's expected to take place, who will be teaching it, or what is in the curriculum. And the concern, especially with the curriculum I have, it's what will be in that curriculum and how it will be presented to the students. Yeah, because uh, the State Department of Education is going to be mandating students to attend classes between, or beginning actually in sixth grade. Right. Um, all the way through Six senior, yeah, th all the way through senior year. And uh, so why is this such an important time for students and their minds? Well, suicide is the second leading cause of death in young people. Mm. So there's more and more concern about mental health, mental wellness, decreasing the stigma, helping people have a better understanding of what's going on, which is really important. And I think a great initiative to helping that is bringing this education to the schools. The concern is that a lot of mental health programs that have the curriculum are gonna teach that it's a brain disorder yeah. or that there is a chemical imbalance. So it's a very clinical perspective and some kids have more trauma. They're experiencing a loss. They're going through something at home. They're going through their youth and experiencing like a lack of identity. And they look at the mental health piece as something wrong with them. So my concern is, are we coming from a trauma-informed approach? Or are we coming from a clinical perspective? Now, according to the State Board of Education, approximately one in five uh, young people here in Florida and actually worldwide uh, experience mental disorders uh, just prior to turning age 25, um, you know, mm -hmm. that, that, and that stat is, you know, startling to some. Uh, so, I mean, how could these mandatory classes help in that respect then, do you think? I think they can provide the education and decrease the stigma if provided in the right context. And when I say that, I mean more that the curriculum needs to be assessed by other mental health professionals and based on the culture of the school. New York is already doing this, they have for a year, and it's going pretty well, but they're actually setting up curriculum based on the school climate. I think that's important instead of just having a blanket curriculum, because we need to have feedback from the kids about where they are, what's going on with them, and let them have a voice in it and just not tell them what's wrong with them. So if there's some questions about these, uh, you know, mental health classes that would be a requirement, what else can be done to help, uh, help the young kids in school? Well, trauma-informed information going into the school. So now the school system is actually bringing more trauma-informed trainings to the teachers, to the students, to, their, to help them understand what trauma is and why it reacts in ways in the brain that could cause issues and how to respond to other students. Also peer-to-peer -peer support groups and really helping the kids have a voice and a say in what's going on and how they're feeling instead of, like I said, being told what's going on. I mean, I can see the point of this. Uh, you know, you want to you start um, maybe educating and, and, and if the, the students feel like they need help because mental health has always been has been you know linked to so many different uh, issues later in life so right. you know there is a, there is a, a good side to this being able to you know if it, if it does lead to uh, lead a, a young person to get help now you know which could be uh, better for later in life right Right, and just making sure that the help is available though. I mean, the initiative went out a couple years ago to hire more mental health counselors, but they're still in the process of figuring out how all those moving parts work. Right. So if we're gonna bring this into the school system and educate the kids, and then they come to their teacher and tell them something, we need to make sure we have the resources to back that up and support them. So just making sure that those moving pieces are all working together is really important. Licensed mental health counselor, Chantella Boss, always good to see you. Thanks for stopping you as well, in. Eric. All right. Thank you.